Good morning, South Florida, and welcome, welcome, welcome to The Breakfast at the Brooklyn Cafe TV. Take a deep breath and a good whiff of that coffee brewing. Grab yourself some toast, a donut, or any breakfast. Mm. As Dawn and Freddie get you up and ready for the rest of your day. So I grabbed myself and called 888-994-4995 to share a tip of the day. Or just to say good morning. So get ready for the time of your life. Shake off your sleepies, buckle up, because it's showtime. And welcome, welcome, welcome to the Booker Cafe. Nice and late. Make sure your butts are on because I don't can see you do a sn- Can you snore for me? Because we're a little a bit snoozy today on this Monday morning. How do you do that? How do I do it? That noise. Can you roll your R's? No. Brrr. I can't roll my R's and I can't make that noise. Can you whistle? <laughs> can't do any of that. Can you guys do any of that? Ooh. Oh, is that the only thing Ooh. you know? <laughs> 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 welcome, welcome, welcome to the Brooklyn Cafe. I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, and I gotta tell you some more. Today is the first day of the rest of the week. Amen. So we're going to make it loud, Mr. Pineapple over there. Was that a snort? No, it was about to fall, so I was placing it up there. Yeah, it was. I tried. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. He does this so nobody can see him. I know. We're down in camera, so he's lucky. He's got. He's on camera. Oh, though. he's on that camera. We're just down in camera. We're gonna mm-hmm. get it back up though. And he thinks he can just block his head again. That's right. Happy Monday, everyone. Good morning to our crew. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Ready for Monday? I'm very, 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 very ready. We got a new friend in the house, so he's going to learn a little bit about what we do. Let's see if we can keep this one. Well, he's here You're for a little what? You scared them. Me? I Which you scaring them. I think it's the negativity that scares them. The negativity what? As Katie says, stop with the negativity. You need to be positive. Positivity. positivity. I'm going to tell you what kind of week I have. Be stressed and relax. I am Katie. so stressed out. Oh, I'm so stressed out. Why? Because I had a dream with Katie. <laughs> <laughs> I had a dream that Katie came in here dressed like a fairy. That would be nice. With wings hey. and everything else. And she was throwing donkey dust at everybody. And the dust would make you positive. Except nice. for me. This it gave really me an strange. asthma attack. Everyone be positive except for you. <laughs> this is it really gave me weird. an asthma attack. <laughs> this is really weird. I woke up it's in a deep sweat. Story. I had to run into the shower at 4 in the morning and take a shower because I couldn't take it. I was hyperventilating. That's why you're taking a shower at 4 in the morning? I had to because th- the dust, the dust. You know the African dust is going to hit us today. It was all over me. I can't breathe. I don't know what to tell you. You and your allergies. We're going to take care of that also. Amazing. I have to tell you that Friday night was a great night. Yes, we have. Fun. It was a long week, but a great night. We got to go see J.C. Driesen in concert at the Arts Garage. And, oh, my gosh, I walked in there. You were a few minutes behind me. You would have thought it was our event. There was J.D. Danner was in the front. She goes, oh, my gosh, my publicist is going to call you. And I walked in, and there was Eileen and her husband and Goldie and her husband. And then there was Elise and her husband. And then everyone came over. And the more people came over, the more people looked to come over to see who we were. And then you showed up, and it was a great night. It was fun. Da- it and was Charlotte. Charlotte Lustig was there. So everyone was kind of dancing in their seats until we could not sit in the seats anymore. And we had to get up and get I gotta going. I got to tell you, I was stuck for 15 minutes upstairs in the parking lot. Why? Because me and Linda together combined cannot figure out how to pay by park. <laughs> <laughs> it's either my finger's broken, my phone is broken, or our brains are broken. We could not figure so we pay for it seven times. So we go downstairs, oh, and Mr. Chakarumi, who saves the day, it's like Mighty Mouse, he says, oh, you have to give it a chance to circulate. So I said, what is it, a drain? He says, no, but it takes a little time. So whoop, sure enough, no Wi-Fi. $35 in parking fees. There was no Wi-Fi up there. You had to come down. You had I to was elevated the elevator down. I was looking at the satellite. I was waving at me. No, you just have to be patient. Well, I can tell you, so it's been a long time since I've had two drinks in a night. I've become such a lightweight. Not a good thing. I'm going to tell you, you should not drink at all. I should not drink after you one. You started dancing with people. That was, they all wanted to be with us. Not us. Oh, let me tell not you. Not so us. JC, not us. JC starts her concert on the stage, and she comes down 
The minute you walk in the joint, I could tell you are a man of distinction. And what does she do? She sits in his lap. I was on my phone. She's got the bow. I was talking to you. He's Jay. talking Jay. to you. Wait a minute. Wait and J.C. Dreesen, the minute you walk in the <laughs> joint, boom, and I she walks horrible. off the stage, boom, right on your lap. I was so embarrassed. What? And then he goes, I was so embarrassed. I was so many. I was talking to Josh. Josh was closing down the radio station, right? So he was asking me, do I turn this, this, and this off? And I had to answer him. Mm -hmm. And she smacks me. Yep. Mm -hmm. I went, where, are you, where are you guys going these days? We were only at Arts Garage, you would think. I don't know how we got so old that we're hanging out at Arts Garage doing this, but we are in that demographic at that point in time. No, we're not. It's just no demographic. What is it with your demographic? And she sits in your lap. She takes the bow. First of all, she didn't sit on my lap. She wanted to she do. Uh, I think we're like way too into. Mm. This. She wanted to do this this mm -hmm. feather thing, you know, the feather thing mm -hmm. around. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's not. But I was so embarrassed. I threw my phone behind me. I didn't even know where I landed. He was so embarrassed. He didn't know what to do, and then he sits back. He takes his hat over his face. He, he goes, "I was talking to Josh." <laughs> I was so embarrassed, so humiliated. But today she's coming in because we have a big announcement to make. Tonight. I hear that. And I held over the weekend. That's a beautiful piece you did on the camera. I held about pushing it out until today, and then I'll promote it. I was wondering why you didn't push it out. Okay. Everything in timing. So it was, an, it was a great night. It was fun. And then let me tell you what happened Saturday. Saturday. Saturday, I go out with Chelsea. We spend the day. I was pretty woman. Chelsea and I were pretty woman. Well, yeah, somebody Do you know what that means? Anymore? Oh, no. Did anyone know what it means to be pretty woman? No. Ever, anyone ever see the movie Pretty Woman? Yes. yes. So, you know, Julia Robert goes into the store, and they refuse to take care of her. Yes. Chelsea and I are looking for dresses for Aaron's wedding. Yeah. We walk into an unnamed bridal store well, at okay. 4.30. Okay. It says by appointment. She says, can we come in? And they say, yes, we close at 5. Okay. They closed all the lights. They yeah. turned them on. No one, ha they tried to help us, but they didn't. They left us there trying on clothes. No one came back. Then I started just pulling clothes off the rack. Now, these are not inexpensive gowns, okay, in this unnamed bridal store in our community. Nobody came back. Nope. No one came to help me zip anything up. They turned the lights off, turned the music off at 444 and said, um, I, get, I said, are you, we're like, are you closing? Yeah, you'll have to make an appointment. Pretty woman beyond. Rude. So all I can say is big Huge. Did you buy some mistake? Absolutely not for right, them. This is this is the way I would have handled. Then I went online, bought two gowns, being shipped. Let me this tell you how much money. I don't even want to tell you how much money they lost. This out is the on. way you should have handled this. When she says you gotta make a point, says, "Well, let me ask you a question. One, two, three, four. I need these five dresses. I just want to know the prices." So she gives you a stack of money. You take out your checkbook, and you go, "Now nah, I'm gonna get it at another store," and you walk right out. That's you hit it right between the teeth. That's exactly what we. I looked at the price. I'm like, what's okay, the name of the place? This? Oh, I'm not. Me and me and Mills are gonna go see what So I told Aaron's fiance. We told her. We texted her. We were pretty women. She goes, let me know who it is. My Latina side's gonna come out. I'm taking my earrings off and I'm going in. She's putting the vest in. <laughs> She's like, I'm taking my earrings off. She was, and I'm there for you. I was like, wow. We were pretty women. New term of the day. That's you're, you're hilarious. Did I ever tell you my son was pretty woman? Was he? Yeah. He started in a new job at a plant that does fireworks. You know the big firework company? Well, they used to, they, they, we knew them. You know the Phantom Fireworks? We knew them. And they had all these different companies. And you went, then you worked, right? So Freddie goes in the first day, and they put him on the second floor so that he could label 10,000 fireworks with a label gun all day. That's all he did. 100 degree weather up there. No AC. So he calls me at 6.30. I go, why are you still at work? He says, Dad, there's nobody here. <laughs> they locked him in? <laughs> they locked me in. <laughs> I'm locked. What do I do? I say, you call the owner, you knucklehead. They forgot all about him. They locked him. It took him an hour to go and open the warehouse. And it was locked because, you know, there's a lot of fireworks. I got to tell you. So here's my thought. The owner clearly wasn't there because if the owner was there, the owner would have cool. said, you Look. stay and you make those sales let's call them. and you find out what these what they want what's yeah, the number let's call them let's call them let's call them now what's the name <laughs> I, I really can't but i'm thinking i should have left my car that says lady dawn and said just here you go just as an fyi 
I Give will take my doing. business elsewhere. And I did. I put my the joy period. of online shopping. I put period. my English accent. Uh, the, the queen's niece was there. <laughs> And you uh, forbid her to buy a dress. <laughs> so I just want to know if anyone out there has ever been pretty woman. Now that you know what that is, give us a call. 888-994-4995. She's got the head bob going over there, Studio B. Good morning to you guys. It happened to you? What? Katie, it didn't happen to you. happened no, to you, I'm just, too? I'm just doing the bobblehead. You know, I don't like calling her Katie. And now you got me doing it. Texas. I, I, I forget. Now it's Katie. Well, yeah. You going to call him Sam? Sam Smiles. the man. No, I think you're going to call him Smiles. Look at him. Smiley Sam. No, that was the guy from New York that killed people, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Left for quits? I was his name was Smiley Sam. Was yes, it? it was. It was? Oh. I don't know. I was going to do a throwback weekend. Did you see I started to? And I didn't get past the peeing, the peeing. No, you did the car window. My dad loved that. It's true. In the car window thing, right? Air conditioning in the day was that little glass. It opens in the front because we used to roll That's down. That's about what Bree's got air conditioning in her house right now. We used to roll down the windows. And we used to hit the turn on and off button on the TV. There was no such thing as remotes. Excuse me. <laughs> Thank you. Right? Nice Our you. exercise was turning on the TV and turning it off. When you and I were growing up, there were, what, four channels? PBS. Two, four, five, <laughs> seven. Then I had nine and 11. I, I think had I had two, channels. four... New York has six. Seven and ten. I thought there was like PBS and then where there were three, NBC, ABC, and CBS. That was it. You had to get up, turn the channels. That was it. And then we had Atari, and that was black and white. Atari. Bing. Bing. Look how Bing. much things have evolved. Bing. Now, look, now look what we have. Now I got to get a new wires. We got to turn Sam, the Sam, you remember on. those things? Bing. Yeah. How old are you, Sam? I'm 17. And Sam is 17. You know, Haley was 18 when she started working with us. She's all so of 19 would be the now. He would be the newest, the youngest. Yeah. Yeah, well, you're going to meet her today, I think, too. Boots. She, apparently, she went to a concert. Concert? More than and she that. killed it in her outfit. What's it called when there's more than one group? Concerts. It's not a concert. Uh, a festival. Thank you. A mash. Festival. Now, I got to tell you something. You liked her outfit? It was so cute. She was killing it. So when she gets here, I'm like, girlfriend. I was thinking her blonde How hair matched her boyfriend's, boyfriend's blonde hair. Hey, she went with her boyfriend? Yeah. Did I you see her? I don't know all the details. I didn't go with them. I saw a picture some stuff on... You saw what she was wearing? I didn't really pay attention. I just saw all this blonde really? hair. Well, it's... Okay. Well, she'll come in. She'll, she'll tell her side of the story. <sighs> How was your weekend, Katie? Texas. I went to Hobby Lobby. Big day. Yeah. What's that? Um, What's the Hobby Lobby? It's oh. like crafts. What you do, paint there too? Because I saw you guys were painting. Unbelievable. No, you they guys painted are unbelievable. here. They painted here in oh, Gina's show. I painted show. like three canvases this weekend. One of them was terrible. When are we going to see them? Oh, they're not good. What'd you paint? Well, one of them looks like a... You guys have a camera. There you go. But Josh is blocking his face. Do you his pineapple head. Pineapple face. Take it down. Do you remember... Paint by numbers? Yes. Oh, yeah. I used to do that all the time. You still, is that still around? Is that yeah, still a thing? Still, still around. I saw Paint it on the lobby, but I was like, Sam, grab that mic. So you didn't, you, you have you, did you go, what did you do at Hobby Lobby? Paint by numbers or something else? Thanks for asking. Um, <laughs> I went in there and unfortunately there were a lot of kids screaming around there and I'm like, this is supposed to be a calm place to go, but like, whatever. Irrelevant. Anyways, um, I got some paint, some like, organizational things to help organize my little art collection thing because my room is a mess. It's a good thing that you have the de-stress show, really. Yes. It, it's a very positive note. Yes. Hobby Lobby, you ever been there? Judy says, yay, Katie. Actually, I've not ever been to Hobby Katie Lobby. Katie will share her art with us. I okay, you guys you. think it's looking like amazing. It's literally, one of them looks like finger, I think it was like finger paint. So you know, what? you could do finger paint. You could charge like a million dollars for it. You could do. You could Josh is like pointing around the studio. You could, yeah. Wait, wait till we get to what these guys put together. You could take a banana and put it in a canvas. Hundred thousand dollars. It's like it's a million dollars. Yeah. For a banana on a canvas, you don't have to, and then you could destroy it and make another million. And then dollars. all you have to say is, "Spirit guided you to paint, That's and right. it's flowing through you." This is what the angels told you to paint, and boom, value goes up. I came up with a new one. Tell me. I'm gonna wear the Zorro mask. You guys know Zorro mm -hmm. and good like morning, a little Jesus. mask. Good morning to the morning crew. So I'm gonna wear the Zorro mask. Say good morning to Katie's mom. Good morning, Katie's mom. Mm, 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 mm. So I'm gonna wear the Zorro mask. Let's do it. That was you. 
Yes, That's a please. parent yeah. sign. What? Parent sign. You're not a parent. You don't know. Oh, all right, I'm so sorry. I'm going to take paint. Yes. And I'm going to get into a trance. And then I'm going to paint all over you. And people are going to say, hey, what are you doing? Spirit made you a work of art. A moving work of art. And How would you like that? Just never take a shower again. No, you become no. a million. An, you become a Showers million. Showers are million. always a, um, a responsibility. Overrated. They're always a necessity. Sh Samuel doesn't take a shower once a year. Says they're overrated. That caveman lifestyle. Caveman. So then yesterday I went to Chelsea's to help her pack because she's moving in a couple weeks, and then we went to Taco Craft for dinner. Anyone been to Taco Craft? Never heard of it. So good, I have to tell you. Really. Yes, and I had to get, of course, a margarita. And then Aaron got a little bit intense on his conversations of politics and, That's why you and how millennials feel. So you know what I said? Let's go for ice cream. So then we went for ice cream. Who was cream. he arguing? He wasn't arguing. He was just talking to me about the state of the world and how his generation feels about the state of the world. How old is Aaron? 27. He's now at the state of the world. This is the reason the world is in its state. It's their No, it's our politicians that are at this state. So anyway, so what does a mother do? Let's go for ice cream. So as we go for ice cream, it's called softy. So they've got vegan ice cream. They've got coconut ice cream. They've got regular. Have you ever been? Plus boba tea. So they've got like softy. It's like Mr. Softy meets boba tea, Freddie. You would love it. They would all love it. He's not amused. You like Mr. <laughs> softy, right? Yeah, but I don't like boba tea. Oh, look who's in the house. Well, you don't have to have the boba tea. You can just get the soft tea. But you're mixing them. That's well, you good. don't have to, but it's good. an option. So then, of course, as they're eating the soft tea, what does mom say? Let's go for cookies. <laughs> so you, you were so putting <laughs> sugar in them so they wouldn't argue the so then Yeah, so then we went to Batch and got cookies because it's a whole lot easier just to go back to childhood and not have to deal with the political discussion. And that's it? You sued it? He never talked about it again? No, then he went home and picked up Ashley from the airport. And, and you argue with her? It's not arguing. It's just their gener you're a whole other generation, but their generation. What you, got looking, what you have looking in front of you. It's a different outlook. You are, you and I are not in the years that we can have children. We cannot physically bear. Well, you never could. But I am not in the, in the year that I can physically I bear can't children. Adopt children. Physically. I'm gonna adopt Josh. Bear them, bore them. <laughs> can't physically have them anymore. We're past that point yeah. in our lives. Because money makes us money. You don't have to give birth. So as, as much as you and I feel about all these new political agendas, mm -hmm. it doesn't really physically affect us, our age, as it does their age. Of course, it affects our age. How? Are you serious? Yeah. They have tomorrow. It affects and they can their, work their lives way a whole out, lot. But they can work their way out of problems. I can't do what they do no but more. But not about having babies. Oh, you're talking about, I know what you're talking about. Hey, Dawn, let me tell so, you. You're going to have to vote everybody out to get the stuff changed. That's all I can tell you. This is the thing. Everyone's got to go vote. Okay. they got to go make a stand. Anyway, what I did, I did what I used to do. Let's go eat. Right? Mm. All right, listen. These guys came in with the wackiest thing I've ever seen. They're working hard on the show, I gotta I, tell I, you. This maniac over here went and he got a wheel, the wheel of fortune. So let's hold it up over there because we're down on the camera. Have so you seen the um, award they made? And we're gonna, put, we're gonna show the award in a second. I just wanna know, get the pineapple out of the way. Oh, there you go. All right, so are you gonna put cards on there so people can pick it? Um, we have a marker. We got a marker, and remember that bean boozle thing I got? Yes. You got a marker? Being boozled. Oh, you uh, can mark on there? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's dry race on each one. So you put like a punishment for each little segment and you a spin punishment. it. Punishment. Whoever Ooh. loses. I thought you were going to put a, a truth or dare card or a question and then on the back is the punishment. Uh, no. You'll see the punishments on here and the loser has to spin it and whatever it lands on, they got to do. Well, this is the loser's wheel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and then then where's the trophy? You guys got a trophy? The trophy's for the, <laughs> trophy's for the winner. Did you make that? Yeah. That's, just, that's so freaking cute. Is that your pottery design? That's so cute. Wait, it's from that? Michaels. I got, I got clay from Michaels and made it. Oh, that's the clip. I, I didn't know what that was. That's, that's the, the clipboard. Clip and we actually have yeah. one in the back for you guys to use. And the clapper. That is the cutest trophy I've ever seen in my life. Social media. I thought you <laughs> made that with Gina. I was like, did he make that with Gina? No. <laughs> you made a snowman. <laughs> yeah, I made a snowman. With a Gina. snowman. A snowman. You ever seen snow? Yeah, okay. I love snow. Do you? Yeah. yeah. So when is your show, guys? Uh, we're gonna try for tomorrow morning. Yeah, tomorrow at eleven. Wow. What's mm -hmm. tomorrow? Tuesday. Yeah, I don't know. Absolutely. I'm dying to play this thing. I'm dying to see this. 
Acrobat. So this is done in teams? Yes. Yeah. Um, Daniel and I will be on a team, and you got to try to knock us down, basically. You mean beat But you, you. guys beat know all the too. questions. Yeah, that's not fair. Well, no. that's why it makes it more challenging. Why? Because you don't why, know the answers. Why? Because you know the answers? <laughs> <laughs> what if I had my own questions? Well, it's not necessarily questions. It's names of movies, and I made over 200 of them. Yeah, but you know them because you you would ask me 100 of them, no, all, and you all, know all the answers. They're all really well known. And Question number five. And don't know them we all. have a pack of cards <laughs> in the back for you guys. I think we can answer your questions, but we have <laughs> our questions for you because it wouldn't be fair. You never lose. I will. The, the, this is what I have. The third round. It shows like a little picture from a movie. And you a gotta clip. try to guess what movie it is. And so you maybe, know it, right? maybe the, well, that's what th maybe the third round we don't do it, but just the guest, the two guests uh, answer that third round to try to catch up to us, points wise. This is rigged. It's gonna. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way in the world they're gonna lose. They're gonna sort of make it seem. I thought like you guys were like the host, but no, you're a team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, then we. How are you a movie, Sam? Hi, movies. You good at movie trivia? He's 17. Yeah. What the hell is he? <laughs> he said he studies film. He should yeah, study film. Yeah. yeah. Do you know how many Godfather movies were there? Oh, <laughs> never mind. Two. Sorry. There's there you, three. There's <laughs> three? There's, there's one in there. It's like six. There's six? I only watched like the first two in my film class. Like Rocky? Like Rocky's 12. There's like a hundred of those. <laughs> <laughs> With different actors, each one. That's a, That's a great show, but I just don't like the hosts being the winners all the time. That's a little bit. Uh, well, I don't mm. know if we can get four people every. Oh, you get more than four. Oh. But it, you guys. Now, what I would do is each one of you would take a, a, another person. It's like a celebrity. You know, you're a celebrity. You're going to have somebody. Like, you'll take Dawn, you'll take me, and we'll go in that direction. But they're never going to lose. They'll never lose. Oh, I know this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know this one too. Wait, did you guys realize that you're never going to lose? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. They're like, what? Yeah. Are they for real? Yeah. Speaking so of for real, well, you have that one show that's over 200,000. 205,000. That's insane. 205,000 hits. Last Memorial shows. Day show? Last, right? No, 2000. Yeah, last, yeah, last. 200,000 on, on one show. <laughs> How come Facebook's only showing 130,000 views? I'll, sh I'll send you the picture. Uh, I don't even. Yeah, but we're at 130,000 views on Facebook, which is pretty cool. 130,000 is a different Reach? issue, but this is one show that was watched oh, okay. 205,000 times. And I don't know why. Well, I shouldn't say that. It's got to be the guest that and we had. She was pretty funny. She was funny, man, but 205,000, that's really funny. I sent it to her once, but that's all I know. So how was the rest of your weekend? Josh, what'd you do? He went shopping. Yeah, I did a lot of uh, art projects and watched some golf, and that was it. You watched golf? It was the Open. I saw St. the guy Andrews. that won. Yeah. What's so kooky about that guy? What, Cameron Smith? or The guy that won. There's nothing really I mean, he's he, young. He took a mulligan. He oh. dropped the ball and still won, minus 20. I don't know about that, but you yeah, know he golf won. too? You didn't see that? Mm -mm. He's in the greats of the greats. Did you see it, Sam? You uh, watch golf? Not really. What's your favorite sport? Uh, I like football. But like, You're a Miami Dolphin fan? No. Where are you from? Um, my family's from Colombia, but I live in... They don't play football in Colombia. It's soccer. Yeah, that's soccer. You, you like Spanish? soccer? Yeah, I speak a lot of Spanish. He's speaking mucho español. Did you know that? No. no. It's Sammy, of course. <laughs> Sam. What do you see, American football or Spanish football? You Spanish like? football. Oh, so you like like uh, Brazil? Right? Brazil, yeah. uh -huh. That's soccer. We beat isn't you it? in soccer about a few years ago. Remember? <laughs> yes, you remember? I remember that. So anytime we will ever <laughs> beat you on the men's side. So, what were we saying to him? Golf, the mulligan. Oh. So the mulligan, he had a gun. He threw a mulligan and took a, a, a shot, and, and then he won the damn thing. And they asked him, what's he going to do now? You know, usually he says, I'm going I'm to go to Walt Disney, I'm going to go to Atlanta. Yeah, so what does he do? Uh, he got the world's most famous trophy, or in golf, uh -huh. the oldest trophy, and he says, I want to see how many beers I can put inside That's this right. thing. That's right. That's what he said. Ever seen the golf club where you can put beer in it? You can drink out of it? No, I've seen the golf club you can urinate in it. Yeah, that's I've seen Das Boot. 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 What is that? Yeah, I don't know how that's even a thing. You'd have to have a very 
study narrow situation. No, it has, situation. A cup, it has a cup like, like a toilet on the top of it. That's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. I can only imagine the smell of that. What did you do military this weekend? I went to the bar and I watched the Ryan Garcia fight. Who Good. won? Ryan Garcia. Who did he fight? Uh, some guy named Fortuna. That's uh, MMA? Boxing. Regular boxing. Mm -hmm. And the, the amazing thing to me is they like shake friends at the end of it. Yeah. Of course. It's not hate, it's just Business? Sport. yeah. sportsmanship. Sports, yeah. Yeah. I was shocked because it didn't seem like it was a tough fight. It was kind of like was boom out. Was it a tough out. fight? No one totally got beat up or... How many rounds? I mean, um, it went to six. Garcia knocked him out. That's not a tough fight. Yeah. You ever get hit and punched in the face? And they're just like... <laughs> it hurts. Sportsmanship at the end and they walk away and like... All this kind of banging their bodies and they go. Because they just beat up on each other. <laughs> Can you imagine doing that for a living? It's a lot of money. Do you know a boxer trains to take punches in the belly? So they have a guy who comes in and he just pounds your belly. And you're supposed to hold your breath to make it hard. And this is all he does all day. All day. All day. For how, how many months does it take to train for a fight? Six months? Uh, I don't know, but I imagine at least six. Well, we've got Ziggy Johnson. He's, what, September? That's a different mm -hmm. fight. Why? That's six MMA. Six. What's That's the difference? MMA is brutal. Yeah, MMA and boxing. Lot, yeah. A lot more brutal. The boxing? boxing yeah. They use their feet on it too. They use their elbows. They hit you in the face. Well, they're not supposed to hit you in the face. I saw a movie called Warrior yesterday. You ever seen Warrior? Uh, with Tom Hardy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And is that his brother that played in that movie? Those two guys look the same. I don't know if it's his actual brother. They look exactly the same, except one was a beast. Mm -hmm. And Tom Hardy was a teacher, and he won. He did the he did the the arm like it's just, it, that story reminds me of the blonde lady, mm -hmm. what's her name? Um, she's in WWF and all that. Uh, the the, uh, the lady that's uh, WWM champion and she lost the belt and all that. I know which one you're talking yes, about. Yes, Ronda. She used to do this arm lock. And you used to put the your arm in a certain lock, and either you break your arm or you tap out. That's what MMA is. It's rough, right? And he pops the guy's arm, breaks his arm, and the guy keeps going, his brother. <laughs> they, they go till the ref stops it. <laughs> what is she doing over there? I don't know. I'm trying to fix things. <laughs> We're all good. <laughs> Until I watch the film. There's nothing wrong with that. That's how we go, and why there was no sound. She was, it wasn't just me on sound. Excellent. She didn't say it was just you on sound. Well, somebody turned it on. Who was on sound? You said they turned it off. It was off. They didn't turn it on? Until after the card opened. Oh. On Friday? Mm -hmm. So we missed that whole first song? Nice to meet you. Thursday, too. Sam, nice Really? Interesting. Oh, no. We're going to have a little chit chat about all that. <laughs> all right. Now, what I would like to do is I'd like to take a commercial break, and I want to try to bring in the radio station again. Now, I fixed it, so it should work. All right, we're going to take a quick commercial break. Give us a call. Let us know how your Monday morning is rocking and rolling. 888-994-4995, Studio B. Good morning, Alana. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hey, travelers. Everybody wants cheap airfares, but where can you find them? You call SmartFares. Our prices are direct from the airlines, and they're so low, they're not published anywhere. SmartFare specializes in cheap flights, discount hotel rooms, cheap car rentals, and great package deals anywhere around the world. Wherever you want to go, SmartFares can help you get there cheaply and with the best price guarantee. If you want the absolute lowest prices on your airline tickets or other travel services, call us right now. That's right, call. That's the only way to get these low rates. Experts are standing by 24-7 to get you the lowest rates available. So don't wait. Call SmartFares right now for the best price guaranteed. Save up to 50% off business and first class. We've got great last-minute travel deals too. Call 855-828-0198. That's 855-828-0198. 855-828-0198. Imagine, this is your money, and someone wants to take it from you. Who is it? The IRS. Guess what? They want your money, and they can take it, all of it if they want. 
Remember, they sent you that letter right over here that said, hey, you owe us a bunch of cash and we're gonna take it from you right now. So what do you do? You fight back by letting our team of experts work it out with the IRS so you can keep your money. And hey, we're good at what we do. When you hire us, you get a team of guys on your side that know the IRS laws and we'll fight really hard to save your money. So if you owe the IRS a ton of cash and you wanna keep it, Call right now and learn for free how we can help you put it back in your pocket. Five minutes of your time right now can save you thousands of dollars. And the best part, it's a free call. So please call right now. And Call 800-651-4808. That just really are different. I love it. That's the thing we focus on the most is the differences amongst people and the special break we're going to talk to franco some more in depth about that thank you franco so far hello i'm mike lindell ceo of my pillow retailers shopping channels and now even banks have tried to cancel myself and my pillow during these times your support has meant everything to us so my employees and I want to personally thank each and every one of you by passing the savings directly on to you. We're selling the best products ever for the best prices ever. For example, we have my towels with proprietary technology which makes them soft and absorbent. Towels that work, what a concept. They're made with USA cotton and come in a variety of awesome colors. My six-piece towel set is regularly $109.99, now just $39.99 with your promo code. I support this show, and I would like to offer you our biggest discounts for listening. So please go to our website, MyPillow.com, and put in the promo code at the end of this message to get the biggest discounts. Again, thanks for listening, and God bless. Call 800 883 1046 and use promo code CAFE SLEEP. Following those three suggestions will help boost your confidence before and during the presentation. If you're interested in learning more about working with a speech coach, please contact me for a complimentary consultation at 954 249 7745. 954-249-7745. This is Marcia Friedman of Express Yourself Communications, and I'm changing the world one presentation. You've been watching the Brooklyn Cafe Show. Join us each day and after hours as we talk about the hot topics to open the conversations and share a few laughs. Now, back to Dawn and Freddie S. What happened? They're doing their own thing over there. It isn't my fault that they're not playing music. I was told. What was that? A talk show? Yeah, I was told they would play music till ten, uh, at ten o'clock on. I guess they're changing their format. Uh, anyway, it does work if that lady is not on the air. It does work. Nickelodeon's in the house. Can I turn the B bus off now? What? Can I turn the B bus off now? For the for the radio station? No, for now. Why? If you do that, you will get no sound. Is it fine now? Oh, good, never mind. Yeah. Good. You just have to turn the lymph off now. Oh, okay. This is a nice shot. B-Bus is really only for butts. No, it's not. You changed it again? There's a D, a C, and a B-Bus. And the then there's the master the bus. bus. That's different. <laughs> <laughs> what it is is that it got complicated because we want to be able, if you call in to the phone, and we're having a conversation, or you're doing a show, you want the people that are on hold to hear the show, right? You don't want to hear just the music, because then they don't know what's going on. So we had to change some buses around so that they could hear where you're on hold. That's what this whole dilemma is about. You guys have that show today? Yes. You're but it's ready? not only that show. I never knew that in the last seven years when people called in and you put them on hold, you can't hear the show. See, nobody ever told me that. I thought it was assumed on my end that you could hear it. So when they come on, they go, am I on? Am I on the air? You've heard it, right? A million oh, yeah. times. So am I on the air? 
Yep. Hello, am I on the air? Because they can't hear the cues, they can't hear nothing. So you changed on the buses. So they changed on the buses. All right, Nickelodeon's in the house. Good morning to you. Good morning. How are you doing? Doing good. How are you? Your wisdom teeth are still in your mouth? Yeah. What happened? For now. Um, She's saving it no, for a reason. No, it was just a referral, apparently. Oh, okay. That's the person who I called was like, they said, um, it could happen, it could not happen, and I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, okay, <laughs> so it, was it just could happen. Girl. It could not happen. Yeah, that's what they told me, and I just, I was like, well, if it does happen, happen, I don't know. Uh, so. Yes, I am bleeding profusely. Well, maybe we'll fix it. Maybe we won't. <laughs> I don't. What do you mean? You get a choice to take your wisdom teeth? No, no, no. no. It's you just do? a referral. Apparently, it's like tonsils. Sometimes you don't want it. Are, are you in pain? Not currently, but they are growing in sideways, and I'm trying to get it done before the semester. You know, if you let them grow out, you grow another head. Where do you go to school? I would not like that. FAU? Yeah. You guys met Sam? He's going to his senior year in high school. This boy is crazy sitting He's here younger today. than military. Than, Hal Haley. than Haley. Than Boots. She said she's going to Nobody's younger than military. Everyone's younger than older. He's <laughs> an old man over here. Our flesses. I think, how old are you, 27? Same age as Aaron, so we can have a whole conversation. About? Whatever they're having a conversation about in 27. I want to know what's going on over there. Those two? Katie yeah. and Josh? What? Yeah. Mm -hmm. huh? The yellow brick road meets Josh. Mm -hmm. She goes, what? Huh? What, what are you what? saying? What? What else do we have on the agenda for today? Meetings. We things. have. We have. We have Rose we coming have in at 2. Yes, we do. Oh, yes, we, we have do. an 11 o'clock call, and we have. JC's coming in to announce her show. We have things to do. We have a full deck tonight, 6 to 8, which I still am a little confused. What's at 7? We have what? Cafe? I don't know, Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> you set things up, Dawn, and then I Dawn know. says, I don't remember setting it up. You better start writing things now. I do. Have you ever been pretty womaned in a store? And it begins. Here we go. Again. She would know. Um, I'm trying to remember. I feel like I've definitely had a moment. Yes, yes I have. And you know what this means. Yeah, when they don't wait on you and you kind of feel like going to the store next door and being like, it's big amazing. mistake. <laughs> amazing. See, I knew she would know. Because as we're leaving the so store, Chelsea said, I bet Alana has a store we can go yeah, to. Um, when you go down to the Sawgrass Mall outlet, which I love, um, the fancy stores are all in the outside part, almost like a promenade or whatever. All the fancy stores that are very expensive are outside. And there is such a difference if I go shopping in one of those stores when I took the time to do my hair and do my makeup and like wore nicer clothes versus if I ran in after the gym, uh, you know, in leggings and a t-shirt or depending on what type of handbag you bring into the store. You're treated differently or you're not approached yep. and it makes you go, I it makes you very frustrated. I gotta tell you the scariest thing. <laughs> I know that more. I've been in that mall with people buying dresses. Yep, it's totally true. You see a lot of people with suitcases around that mall. Shorts and a tank top and curly hair, eh, like. Oh, is that they what you were dressed less. in? That's why nobody paid attention. It to should you. not matter what you look oh, like. That's Correct. a freaking loop. It should not matter because you cannot judge a book by its cover. No. So you got to take out the wad of bills. Never. Order pizza. Did you order pizza? I order pizza. Pretty woman. <laughs> Although I do also have a story that it was really fun one time. I was with a friend and we were dressed up pretty nicely and we walked into this art gallery because we just wanted to look at the art and we must have been dressed so nicely that they kept coming up to us. They thought we were going to purchase art. The art was outrageously priced, like way above my pay grade, <laughs> but it was nice to be <laughs> thought that I could afford it. Exactly. I went to an art gallery in Miami at one in the morning with this guy named Aldo who was like Paisano, Paisano. He was like a somebody. Does yeah. he own Aldo's? No, but we store? used to make fun of him. But Aldo walks into the, first of all, we didn't have an invitation. He walks right in and he says, is this guy with you, meaning me? He says, yeah. Now Aldo wasn't invited either, but because he dressed the part, like you're saying, mm -hmm. they let him in. So we go to the penthouse of this thing and this million dollar art's on the wall. So everybody says, oh, you're the artist. Can you stand next to your art and take pictures? Did he do it? He did it. That, see, now that's where it goes too far. He wasn't, he was just there to try to pick up some furniture clients, you know, because we were working on some things, fountain blue and stuff. It was unbelievable how if you go decked out, people think you're an artist. They just how you appear, right? Everything's in appearance. So you and I should like go in shorts and gym clothes and go around town and see if anyone notices us. No, I don't want to be noticed. <laughs> They all notice you. Look, like JC that. sat in your lap like yes, on Friday. Freddie just has to go with his hat or without his hat. If I don't yes. have a hat, I'm good. 
<laughs> and if I don't, I don't have, have you, I'm good. No one knows me without you next That's to me. That's not true. Dawn, you were dancing with like 50 women over there. That's because they were And then they made me take pictures. No, I got to take pictures take of pictures. the craziness. Well, if you were just sitting there hands free. Well, I didn't say I had hands free, but <laughs> I was sitting there. All right, you ready to wrap this up? Yeah. Things to do, places to go. Have a great Monday morning, everyone. Oh, wait a minute. We should, Alana, you're going to play the game the guys are putting together? I want to know who's your partner. They oh. told me that their, their show's going to air on Tuesdays. I'm not in on Tuesdays. I'm thinking maybe we make it on Wednesdays. Would you guys be open to Wednesdays? I'm thinking we You move have more him. people here on Wednesdays. I think we move him to Thursday and have everybody here on Thursday. Oh, There's a lot of people show up. We're going to have to look at the schedule. Maybe? 11 o'clock. Oh, okay. We're going to have to look at the schedule. Your Thursdays are stacked. Yes, 11 Thursday is stacked. Thursday is stacked. Thursday's full. You have you have no time to schedule oh, to bring Oh, he put another eat. show in there on Thursday nights, Friday. He's mm -hmm. like, oh, and this show's going to air Thursday. We're going to do it at the radio station. Seven. Josh, they get afraid of doing back-to-back. To back, you no, you to you told show. us not to do back to back. Alana asked if there's any Josh other days that we work here sit. other than Thursdays. Josh did a two hour sit on Friday. That was one show. Uh uh, two shows, four segments. But and did you he change didn't sets? It was worse. We didn't even know what the sets did were. Did you change sets? Did you change boards? Did you change hosts? Freddie, you're not even here on Thursdays for all the way. But I will. I'm going to no, send Josh. No, and I'll do, I will and do no. it. I will do changing in the set. The, the problem is that you guys don't prep it. If the set changes on the side or you move it around, you don't do that. We're going to take a, uh, we're on taking break. We're going to wrap this up today. Have a good morning, everyone. Stay safe. We will it's see so you. It's so nice of you. Uh, in a little bit. Bye-bye. Don't be late. Thank you, thank you, thank you for listening to The Morning Show. As I go now to fill my mug, which is completely empty, I'm coffee out. Your cup runneth over. No, come and dry. <laughs> Have a great morning, everyone. Stay safe, be kind to each other. Tune in for all of our other morning shows. Coming from Ant Media Productions and then our afternoon show at 12 o'clock. And always join us for more fun and laughs because, you know, your day starts when you smile. Have a great morning, and we'll see you in a little bit. And don't be late.